It's a major role you had, dude. Like, yeah. how do you how do you prepare for something like that? I mean, not only is the whole film like a legacy, but yeah. it's like you're also representing Snoop. Exactly. Yeah, it was a lot of responsibility, you know, kind of like carrying that pressure, to like to play the dogs and be like one of the coolest guys of all time. You know what I'm saying? But I was just on YouTube a bunch, watched a bunch of like old DPG videos, shout out to Captured him like in the 90s, and I watched Baby Boy so many times, like it's crazy. Were you able to get any interaction with Snoop? Um, not too much interaction with him, he gave me a few tips here and there, because he's a busy man, but Snoop's pops though, I talked to him a lot, he was on set, so he helped me out a lot, and then Daz Dillinger, of course, he was there too. So what's the behind the scenes of, of this film, like, especially like I mentioned, it's a legacy, it's a big deal, everybody's like touched by this, everybody yeah. knows who Tupac is, yeah. so what was that like, shooting all of these scenes? Being behind the scenes, it was just great because everybody there like on set had some type of relationship with Pac, so it was cool to see that relationship and hear the stories and all like stuff I never even heard before, so it was just great just being on set and just being around those people. Now a lot of us were like kids, we either elementary or like, were just barely born yeah. when, when Pac was around. But uh, do you remember like the first moment that you realized Pac was like a big part of like just life in general? Life in general? <laughs> uh, growing up, I always knew he was a big part of life in general. But it wasn't until like I was in college and I wrote my first paper on Pac and Afeni. So that's when I was like, oh, Pac is the greatest. You got full circle. Pac is the greatest. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs>